Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today we're going to be working on copper smelting. However, we are in iron smelting because I made an error. And this error goes all the way back to uh, 12 .3, 0 0.12.35 in my Belt Diva series because that is where this array came from. And I just uh, blueprinted it and put it into my book. Uh, without rechecking the calculations it turns out and one of you guys mentioned this thank you so very much for bringing that to my attention it's been a few days since I saw that comment so I apologize that I've forgotten your name but I very much appreciate that um, I was calculating the number of furnaces required based on this number here crafting speed of 7.4 or plus 270 percent instead of 370% which is what all of the other machines are doing. So we're going to today we'll start off with how do I calculate how much can go on a belt. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the modules and we're going to look at the belt speed and we're going to look at the crafting speed. Now the first thing to think about is the modules. These give us plus 10% productivity bonus each right and that is put into there on the right hand side now don't try to calculate I mean you can try to calculate the effect of all of the um, uh, beacons that have overlaps on your specific machine and we're going to look at this machine here because this is the same as all the others um, in terms of productivity bonus plus crafting speed um, so what it does is, is the, the game calculates that for us. If you look at the crafting speed, it's plus 370%. That includes all of these modules plus the slowing um, bonus. Here you can see speed minus 15% for each of these modules. That includes all of the things in it. So we're going to use that crafting speed of 9.4 to determine how, how long it takes um, for all of these things to get sorted and how many we need per blue belt because right now we have too many. So um, the first thing we want to do is say, okay, we get productivity bonus of plus 20%. Now write this down or either get out pencil and paper or open notepad if you want to have this for reference. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply the number of products we get, which is going to be 1.2, that's 1 plus the 20% productivity bonus, and then multiply that times our crafting speed, which is 9.4. Okay, That gives us 11.28. Now, that is uh, what we need to do with that number is look at how much time it takes for a plate to be crafted, and it takes three and a half seconds. So we're going to divide 11.8 divided by 3.5. Okay, and that gives us 3.22285 and a whole bunch of other numbers. We're going to use 3.22. Just remember 3.22. And now we're going to look at our belt speed. Now the belt speed is going to depend if you're using red, yellow, or blue. Um, and we're using blue here. And you can see that the belt speed is 40 items per second. Okay, so we want to say 40 divided by 3.22. 3.22. There we go. We end up with needing 12.4 machines to fill a blue belt. Here we have 16 machines. Let's look at this again. Yep, 16 machines. So what I'm thinking is we are going to need to have 13 machines. We'll take off three of these machines here. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is uh, do this. Can I do it like this? Let's try just machines and inserters. Let's get our deconstruction planner to filter these guys out. Machines and blue inserters, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And that's what we're going to use. And we're just going to, to delete these guys here, being very careful about the whole process. Right? That's what we want. Now, the really important thing here is that we retrieve our machines and we retrieve our, um, our modules, most importantly. So we now have an issue. <laughs> we now have stuff. I'm going to... Let's see. How do I do this? I really want to... Let me just put some of this iron in my uh, trash inventory. Don't follow me, robots. I really don't want you to follow me. 
Um, but what I need to do is put that there and put this there instead. I'm going to put storage boxes. We're going to put some temporary storage boxes so that I can empty out all of this iron here. There they go. Check that out. All right, and they're going to remove that in iron from my inventory as well. Um, <laughs> so I want this stuff. Come on, guys. I don't want that. No. Why, are the, why is it trashing those modules? That is very, very... Oh, it's not trashing them. It is actually... Um, it's allocating them for me. There we go. We want to take the ore out here. And put it in these chests, probably. There we go. Just gonna move that around. I shouldn't have had that in my inventory to begin with. I really need to trash those. Uh... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put them in. Oh, I can't. Can I do that actually? Can I put them in the trash bin of these things? Probably. I think they'll go through. Let's try it. Let's hopefully it'll work. Uh, right. Take those back to the world, please. And that should go. Right. We still need stuff. Why are these guys not moving? They should be able to put them in these um, storage chests. I'm surprised that they're not doing so. Okay. So let's keep on going with our little deletion thing here. I'm not going to bother with the undergrounds and fixing that right now. Later, I'll probably blueprint a new uh, thingy for that. I am getting a lot of ore, though. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's shove this in here. There we are. Now, these guys, why are they hanging around, I wonder? I'm surprised, because they should be putting stuff in these storage boxes right here. There are plenty of them there. Come on, it's okay. Are they mine? Can't be mine, because I have space in my inventory. Anyway, we need to look at how far these guys affect things. We do need to get rid of these um, bottom beacons. We can also start deleting the belts. Let's, let's get one thing at a time. Let's delete the top guys here. Okay, come on. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. I know this looks partially crazy here, but um, there's a reason that the uh, beacons are quite are staggered from the machines. Um, and that's so that you have maximum overlap. If they were aligned exactly, then you would not get as much coverage. Okay, so let's get these guys off. Oh my goodness. They're still giving me stuff, huh? I don't need that much stuff. I really don't. No. These guys to there. And just delete these extra little belts there that are not really needed. Um, also, I'm not going to put a temporary uh, electrical pole there. I don't see that it's useful. Um, I'll, I'll uh, power these when I have need to put down another substation. If you guys, uh, if you guys mentioned that to me. Uh, so, right, we want to get rid of these beacons here. Right. Wait, is that one? No, it's not that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Okay, we need to have this one. I forgot that I had taken some off. I'm like, yeah, I'll just take one off the end. Yeah. Okay, it's all good. There we are. And then we can also queue these bits of belt 40 construction, which is going to give us a lot of ore. Yes, a lot of ore. But we will be able to shuffle that upward. Oopsies. I have a little bit too many belts there. There we go. That's that one. Okay, cool. Though I really, I still do not know why that those bots are not placing things down. Quite bewildering, I have to say. All right, let's take this stuff up here and fill these boxes with ore and whatnot. 
I go down here and fill the chests, these storage chests here, with um, these guys. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff that I don't want in there. Uh, yeah, the ore will come back with me. Take these furnaces, take the belts. Okay, not too bad. Now these are just like, why are they hanging here? Let me just... No, I replopped the... The RoboPort. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, it's okay. It doesn't really matter that much. Okay, take that, please. All right, and now we have a ton of stuff to go back to the other station. Let's see if there is anything... Looks like there's nothing here that needs to go along. What? Why is this one waiting? Ah, because all of the stations are red. They're all full of ore. That's a good sign. We can start using this these iron plates very shortly. I do want to get our copper station back up, though. And what do we got in here? Let me just see. Do we have extra like modules in here? A little bit extra, like 63. Um, I'm going to leave this set here because we may expand this very shortly uh, at a future point. Golly gee, I still don't know why those darn robots are just hanging in the air. They're construction bots from... Just looking, no, there's places to park. I don't know what's going on with those guys. Anyway, it'll be fine. They'll, they'll just, maybe they'll hang out or something. <laughs> to me, it's quite strange that they don't like, they don't put them in these storage chests. Why are they waiting in the world? Hmm. It looks like there's just the one that I caught now. Anyway, so this whole thing is now properly set up. Like I said, it takes 12.4 uh, furnaces to fill the blue belt. We have 13, and that should be just fine. Um, now I'm going to go to Copperlands over here so we can get our copper smelting set up. All right, I'll meet you there. Alrighty, we are here at the copper area. I figured out what was wrong over here. Um, I faithfully ignored the little uh, warning thing, the, the yellow triangle, but it was basically telling me that I had no storage chest. So I plopped one down and sure enough, those robots came racing to the chest to put down their stuff. I got confused, I think, because of the um, logistic zones, which of course are separate. However, the, um, the construction zones overlap. I assumed that the ones down here would be robots from this area and not this particular system up here. So thankfully though, we have gotten that all sorted out now. Right. So that's gotten uh, fixed. So I think what I'm going to do for here is we're going to start on our copper smelting train station. Now I want to build copper smelting to be quite different from um, the iron smelting, we're gonna build this as an entirely bot-based network. Uh, a few of you guys have been asking me, why do I mix bots and belts? Uh, it's because that I, I try to mix the best of both qualities of each um, and try to have an efficient system. But we can do a completely bots-based uh, copper smelting system uh, over here. Uh, the only problem with this location is that it doesn't seem to have any oil nearby. I could possibly go and explore a little bit, but we'll maybe we'll find some along the way. There's a, a little bit down here, so we could ship it in if we wanted to do so. I'm not seeing any anywhere else though, uh, at least not nearby, but I might go explore up here and see if there's any hanging around. The first thing I want to do is create a train station. Uh, we want it to get off on the right, go up here, load, and then go back down on um, around to, so it's on the other side of the track which is going to be the left in, um, as you're coming toward but have a situation where the trains do not cross each other as they're going to their primary destinations which is going to be probably over here i.e. have green circuits up here maybe red circuits down here something like that where um, the trains can have as easy an access as possible without inhibiting their own brethren I don't know if you can call trains brethren but that's okay we're going to have a go at doing it. Right, I think the station at Iron is actually perfect for this. Uh, this station here is really, really good. Uh, so we're going to collect this. Uh, in fact, we can 
Should we, we don't need all of this. We, we just need the tracks, I think, for this. Get this going like, oops, I missed those signals on the top, alas. There we go. That's good. Hmm. And I'm like just thinking about how I want to attach this. Let's get this like that. Let's take that curve off, this pole off. That curve also got to go. And I think we can do this reasonably well. Yes, I think that will work very nicely indeed. Right. So I think this can go here. Move this off a little from the wall that we had over there. Um, I guess what I need to do is actually create a track up here that is um, just going to keep this out of our... There we go. Something like that. So we have a reference point of how we want to attach this thing here. Something like this, maybe? Ish. That'll do. I think that'll be just fine, in fact. There we go. That will be perfect. Let me go grab some tracks. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough on me. Um, signals as well. And a couple of power poles. And I don't know what we're going to do in terms of chests. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. Now, this is going to require a lot of logistics chests. And I've been thinking about how I want to do the mining. Now, there, there's, there's a couple of ways we can do mining. Okay, I want to build first this area, please, robots. Can you build this area first, please? Let's just go right here. Build that area. There we go. This is what we want. We want to build this train section first so that we can have our um, our building train come over here and set stuff down for us. There we go. I'm going to try to dissolve these trees as we walk by with um, the termite bots. There we go. Wow, we need... Okay, we're not done... We're not done roboting yet. Oh, and here we have a problem. Our batteries have run out of energy. That's the biggest problem, I think, with construction bots. So, um, I there is a mod by the wonderful Dustine that's called Charged uh, Transmission or Charged Robot Transmission. Something like that, which allows the bots to recharge while they are in your, your zone of roboportiness. Uh, this works with you know, regular roboports, but is most handy... Oh dear, this is a problem, isn't it? <laughs> this is a problem. No. Yeah, we're going to have to delete the whole thing. No. The sadness is overwhelmingly real here. Right. Let's get this deleted. Gotta move it all. Move it all. There we go. Um, anyway, it allows the robots to move even when they're, or allows them to charge even while they're not docked around you. Do I have the ability to make another reactor? No. Eeps, that's not good. Uh, if you want to instantly recharge them, you can right click on them as I'm doing right now and uh, they will instant recharge, which is kind of helpful when you just don't have enough. I have no more battery power, alas. Uh, <laughs> this is not happy. I kind of, I really do wish that, um, you, you could, um, yeah, uh, what do you call it? That the robots didn't require charging. I think that would be extremely helpful and handy. Uh, because I mean, at end game, it really just isn't necessary. It's kind of like, why, you know, why do we bother with this recharging thing? So anyway. There we go. Some more robots are around me. Oh, and silly me. All right. This is almost done. Take the stations off of here. Come on, bots. Come on. Wow, so many. So many re needing recharging. I feel like putting my other power armor on. Oh, you know what I could do? I could steal a reactor from there. I think I'll get rid of two 
exoskeleton legs. Oh, I can't even do that right now. Can't do it because things, stuffs. I have to put some stuff in the, the train carriage real quick. All right, here, take some, some stuff, please. And I want to take out two sets of legs and we're going to grab one of the reactors. Actually, we can put these in here just to leave a uh, slot free. Let's open this, get another reactor, and that's going to help our bots charge a little bit faster. All right, so <laughs> back to square one. Right, let's get this thing. We need to take off these guys, just the curves, and this straight bit down here. Right. because this is now going to be the main line instead of a kind of a branch line that's coming off. Okay, that's better. And we're going to put this up here instead because this is going to be extended this way, like that. And we're going to need to put in quite a number of chain signals here if they're not already in at the stations. I don't remember if they are or not. It doesn't look like they are. All right, I'm going to put this in, but I'm going to walk away so that we're at the construction point of making that last station. There. Can we put it there? God. Maybe. Yeah, we'll still fit that diagonal in here, I think. Should be just fine. All right, let's move a little bit closer so we can definitely get this track put in. We should have enough um, boxes and stuff to get this all sorted out. Excellent. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to kind of walk through here, let the bots get everything sorted. The battery is still going down, but I don't think it's going to go down at such a high rate because of the third fusion reactor that we have charging things up. Well, it's going down. <laughs> it's going down anyway. I should put a few more batteries in my in my armor. That would solve the problem in the short term, I suppose, when I have these kind of burst building things that I'm doing. Let's grab some more um, of these guys. So that happens. All right, let's get this going there. And let's get our train parked up in here. Let's go backwards so we can hit this branch off. Here we go. Go to the right. Nice. I'm gonna go to the closest parking spot if it's built. Okay, it's not quite built yet. That's all right. We're not that bothered. We're not worried. We'll be fine. All right, and the bots need to charge. Come on, my little bots. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I'm considering installing that mod, but I'm afraid of um, if you guys will think it's too not vanilla. But it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments if you uh, if you have an opinion one way or another. Uh, I feel like it wouldn't be that noticeable in general, so it probably would be uh, not too bad in those kind of terms. What do we need around here? We need. Lots of boxes, lots of, um, we need some combinators and train stations. I kind of feel like I should almost, uh, have combinators delivered to these wagons as well. Uh, we're okay on those mostly. Roboports we need a half a million of. Yes, and these probably as well. What do we got? Otherwise, train stations. Yes, we need those. And more roboports. Um, I don't think we need any undergrounds. We're not going to need a lot of the stuff that we have here. Okay, bots, have a go. Have fun. Go for it. We need also lots and lots of green inserters. That's going to be fairly important. And here we do need to get this sorted immediately. Want to get our chain signals here, along here, and we also need them along here. 
because this is going to be a mess. I don't want it to cross any of these things. Uh, we're going to put a regular signal afterward. So we finally finish that chain area of things. Now down here, we shouldn't have any issues, I don't think. Um, it should be just fine. Let's get our power poles. Oopsies. Okay, now these guys are operational. Now what we need to do is, I think we can just, oopsies, to, there we go, okay. Uh, we just need to get our building train down here and I think it's done uh, supplying the north parts. So we're gonna take those completely off of the schedule as soon as I can get there. We need to rename this one, call it Copper Plates Building. Copper Plates Building, right, there we go. Uh, and we'll make this kind of orangey colored. Yeah, that's cool. Now, building train, yo, let's go. Let's take these off. It's five seconds of inactivity or 10 seconds. Uh, copper plates building. Doo, 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 doo. We'll go for 10 seconds. Nice. Okay, cool. So it should come down here. Uh, maybe. Why don't you just come down here now straight away, please? Okay, so we'll have a train coming in here and delivering stuff. Is it going to give us the inserters we want? Yes, it is. And the boxes we want. Yeah, perfect. This is going to be good. I'm quite happy about this. Nice. Right. Now, the next thing that we're going to need to do is build the smelting arrays. Now, the thing about the smelting arrays is that we can make them any shape we want, literally any shape at all. Um, we just need to have a decision where, you know, how tall to make the columns, how wide. I kind of feel like we should make them twice as tall as the iron things. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That was so friendly. It delivered Logibots and now I have no more trash. <laughs> it's, it's delightful. Thank you very much. Um, I, I should probably deliver, send out some of the junk stuff that I don't need. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. They're building stuff. They're doing things. How nice. Oh, wow. It's giving me all of the uh, inserters. Fascinating. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll uh, finish building this in a couple more trips. Right. So we were talking about building these columns. Uh, we decided that a column for a blue belt is 12.4 machines long. Um, and that, that works. What I'd like to do is I want to copy this thing. We need to copy this with the modules and we can have an area like this, All right? Just put it here for now. And the thought is that we can put each of these, the produce into a box and we'll do like a provider box. We can even save on boxes if we want to by doing something like this. Uh, not like that. No, actually that won't work. Never mind. Uh, but so each of these needs to have its own provider and requester chest, which I have no requester chest. Darn it. Let me grab one. Um, let's just grip one. Wait, I really want some from the world. World, give me some. Do I have any in my in my train? Oh, there's some on that train. There's some on that train. Can I steal them quickly enough? Did I get some? Do I want some? Hello, give me box. Oh, there they are. There is a request for chest. Hooray. Right. I'm going to take off all my personal... Oh, I can't even take off the personal robo-ports. <laughs> no. It's trapped me. No. Okay, we're gonna, just going to build this up here then. That, that'll be fine. That'll be good. Uh, right. So we need to have um, feeding and depositing things. Now, just grab these guys. One of them. Like that. And go like this. Perfect. 
And then we can just do our regular beacon thing with this. Um, we're going to need to have our beacons offset, like I said, so that they can um, happily do stuff for us. Just grab this. And we will also grab this thing. Get rid of this. And grab that. So the the idea is that the... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't want to do that. Hold on. This... We need to request like 200 copper is what we want to do. Or 300. Maybe we'll do 300. Okay. And get this back. There we are. Happy days are here again. Now we'll just delete these guys. And then put these guys down here. Now I'm hoping... Now, the, the, the greatest fear that I have with robot-based smelting like this is, are all of the smelters going to function? That's the main worry that I have with this kind of thing. Let's go and say... One... Aww. Right. Let's see, how many is this? It's 15. Let's go for 24 of these guys. Oh god, I forgot which ones I put down. No, I put the wrong ones down. Oh my goodness. Boy. Oh my god, I have way too much stuff in my inventory. I have to just trash it. Gotta trash it. No. Take all of this, please. And a lot of those, please. Okay, now I can hopefully work in peace. Let's find out. This is... Okay, this is the one on my toolbar. Is this the right one? Yes, that's the right one. Delete the other one. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thing not working good. Okay. Um, right. Oh my gosh. It's giving me too many belts. No, 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 no. I just want like 100. I don't want that many. I'm going to go and recycle them again. Oi. All right, there we go. I'll, I'll take a hundred, so it's... Well, actually, I have a hundred, so it should be happy. Okay, good. These Logibots are really insistent on serving me today. Goodness. Okay, here we go. All right, let's put these guys here. One, two, three, four. Eight, twelve. And then we'll have... 24. Okay. And then let's get our beacony dues sorted out. Ooh, are we too? I really wish. Um, let me copy one beacon. The thing about the beacon uh, blueprints, and that's why I'm going here to copy another one, is it's really difficult to see how they overlap. So I'm just going to put the first one down <clears throat> in a place that is clearly too low. Right, we're going to take this one off and then do it again. Anyway, it'll be okay. We'll just add one at the top. And of course, I also neglected to add power poles to this array, which is unfortunate. But that'll be okay. We're going to do this. It's going to be very easy. Nice. Does that collect that one as well? No. All right. Put this one up here because we'll need it probably for beacons. Alrighty, let's get our beacons sorted out now. Now that we have the starting point, see what I mean, right? Like right here, it's really difficult to see where the first one will overlap the, um, the furnaces. Okay. And then here we need more, more beacons, more beacons. And more modules for goodness sake. I have a bunch in the train which is nice. All the beacons, all the modules. Let's put in all the mining so far. Uh, right. 
Now we're going to have to be very careful about where we place things like uh, roboports. We're going to need a lot of roboports to serve all of these chests because they are in the middle of columns and things like that. So let's figure out where is that last robo thingy. So this one up here where I'm standing wouldn't hit it right. There we go. Excellent. Okay, we have a thing. So let's grab this line of beacons, shove it down here. Boom, there we go. And unlike the other area, this is going to be one continuous, um, one continuous network of robots. So we're going to have to probably adjust our settings for that. Let's see, Logibots, let's have something like 9,000. I don't know, it sounds reasonable to me. Seems like a lot, I know, but it's a thing. It is what we need at the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, get rid of that for now. Mm, I don't think we're gonna need this right now, unless we use it for our mining situation. I'm really wondering about how mines will work. Will it take evenly from all the miners? I don't think it will. I think it'll take from the nearest ones. So I'm thinking about doing mining via belts, which is gen just in general. It seems like a better bet to me. Right, let's go ahead and copy this entire thing. And we will place it here. Now, since it really doesn't matter, there are no belts going through here. So my plan is to kind of sneak out um, one of these machines uh, and make sure that we can, um, let's just keep building sideways so I can find a good spot for this. Uh, but yeah, just take out one of the machines, not one of the beacons. Um, because that's going to mess everything up. But we want to take out one of the furnaces or two because they are three high and a rope port is four. Okay, here we go. This is what we want. There we are. This is going to be equal to a lot of copper smelting. Right. I want to just make sure that we have the orange area overlapping those last things there. So I think somewhere along this line. So somewhere like right here. Right. Let's see if that will work here. Oh yes, it works absolutely perfectly. Now the only issue we have now is should we make a lot of robo ports down here. Maybe we have made this far too close and we need more robo ports. Um, so remember, we need them for charging for everything. Oops, there's a power pole there that is very inconvenient. Because this is going to require a lot of charging. Um, I am thinking maybe we should move it up a little bit at the very least, or alternatively, we could have robo ports. We could have robo ports along an entire center, sort of a backbone for this if we wanted to. That's another option. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really sure about this. I've not, I don't really use bots very much, but I'm kind of trying to figure this out as we go and see how we can make this the best way possible. Okay, I think we want to move this up slightly. Just slightly. <laughs> okay, so let me just take that off. And this is going to be buckets of fun. Um, I'm going to grab this, call it like that, and remove the whole thing. This is what bots are for. This is the essence of bots. And what I'd like to do is, instead of having this... 
I'd really like to just get a whole bunch of these guys down. Maybe three rows of them. Okay. And I'm going to put a few storage chests out here. There they go. So that the bots can deliver stuff into there. Okay. And then we'll be able to put this up here. And I think I'll take those Roboport's off the bottom here. Okay, that's better. Because we want to have some massive, massive charging stations here. I think we can put this here. Let's put that there. And we got to get some of this also deleted. So it looks like we didn't delete everything. Okay, cool. Looking good. Looking very good indeed. Uh, ooh, did we snafu? We did. We snafu'd very badly. Um, because <laughs> I may have to move the whole thing up again. No! Um, how about these guys, if we did this? I could do this. I could sneak these guys in here. Okay, so those guys are charging. And then instead of Roboports here, I could just put a another one of these guys in there. I think that's probably best. Oh my god, I wish they, they fixed that. The, um, the area of, um, or the hitbox of these darn... I'll put them up, actually. I'll put it up one, because, like, here you can, literally cannot pass through. This is why I don't use substations. Even though it's next to a passable object, like the Roboport, I cannot pass through this substation. Um, and that's why I never use them in my regular factory is because of that spe one specific thing is they're just impassable. It's, it's very annoying. Okay, there we are. Now we're looking pretty good. We have stuff happening. We have things made. All right, let's get this. Oh, that one is not powered? Why isn't it powered? Aha, because we have no power. <laughs> that would make sense. Right, let's get this one here. There we go. Very nice. And of course, this last row of um, beacons does not have power either. But it will soon. So let's get up here and put down... There we go. Boom. Fantastic. We have stuff. We have quite a lot of copper smelting potential in this area. Um, I'm going to do something quite sneaky here. I'm going to copy these two things and just space them out like that so that we have these things sorted out. And get this substation here. And we're going to have that relatively in line. There we go. So those things can all have power and charging and lovely things. We can all have nice things. Right. We'll just string up these power poles this way. All right. And we have progress. We have beautiful things made. This is so far our copper territory. Ooh, I should put down a robo, uh, not a roboport, but a radar or two. Let's put one up here for now. And also one down by the train station. So that would be nice to have. There we go. Put this one down here. All right. Uh, the only thing I think we're missing is a bit of a few lights. Um, so I might add that to the blueprint, possibly, maybe. I guess I could just add them in between here. That'll be fairly easy to do if I had lights. <laughs> if I had lights, where are they? I know there are some in the train. Let me go get from the train 
Um, but yeah, this is looking really, really good. I'm quite pleased with how this is turning out so far. All right, let's get beacons in here. And modules, put those in there as well. Um, right, what are we looking for? Lights, 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 lights. We have none there. I might have taken them off the train. No, I didn't. I apparently I still have them. <laughs> the place does look more festive with lights. I will agree with this. Um, right, let's go here and we'll kind of like put them on all the non power pole areas. I'm just walking and clicking and dragging. We'll put it kind of like every other one, I think. Ooh, what happened there? Oh, that has no more power. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay, and here. Putting them every other row. Okay. You shall be... Uh, let's just put a temporary pole here. I hope it's not going to interfere. Now, the next thing that we want to do is... Um, we need to build our drop-off station for copper as well. Now, the, the critical thing is we want to leave enough space here for future expansion. Um, to do that, we could either build up higher or we could build to the right or we could build to the left. I think my preference is going to be leave some space here uh, and then take the train line around here. But the train is actually going to go kind of like up and to the left and finding copper that way, most of all, remember, so that we don't um, crowd our our, uh, our tracks. So anyway, I think that's pretty much all we have time for in this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.